Hi there, welcome to my channel, The Empowered Light Leader. This is Sarah, and as always, I'm going to channel a message for you today. Today is June 16th, it is Wednesday, and you can listen to these channel messages as well as light language activations at any time. It doesn't have to be today, but if you certainly want to listen today, it's a nice way to form your day around the energy. So with that being said, Today is a beautiful energy. I woke up, I felt ready to go, go, go. And when I tuned in this morning, the first thing that I heard was, you know, you are the vessel, but you are the air surrounding the vessel as well. In other words, you are the container, right? For, for the light, right? But you are the light as well. So you are the vessel for the light, but you are the light as well. So Let's focus in on this concept today and bring in some light language to support that. So what they're really saying, what the masters are saying, what the light is saying is that oftentimes, you know, we tend to think of ourselves as one thing. And when we do that, we limit our capacity for being everything because we forget, you know, and part of the forgetfulness is being in a body, right? Is being human, is being separate and this illusion of the physical container, a vessel, a body, right? But we are non-physical beings as well. So as we start understanding these concepts and, and feeling into the energy of that, we understand, hey, I'm the vessel, but I am the light as well. And they showed me this beautiful scene of, you know, grass and birds and, and bees and the air kind of sifting through all of this. And as I'm standing there in this beautiful scene, observing it, I'm the observer but I'm also the air as well, and I'm also the bird, and I'm the bird and the air that supports the, the wings as the bird is flying. I'm the bee that is going from flower to flower, but I'm also the flower, and I'm the sun that's shining down on all of it. In other words, you are everything. You are the all, and in our humanness, this can be quite hard to conceive of, to understand, but remember, you know, don't be too attached to one way of being, and what does that mean? You know, your name, your job, your beliefs about who you are, what you're capable of, your disappointments, your past, your failures, right? Your, even your successes. Anything that you're holding on too tightly to, by definition, is preventing you from being the all. Now, in order to create, right, we do have to have physical vehicles to bring light through, to manifest and create. And that's why we're given the physical body. So container, containment is necessary right it is useful but balance is everything right so if you're if you're too tightly contained then you're becoming those walls that are closing you in right but if you understand that you you know you exist within these walls but you also exist outside of that outside of that box you know that is mana that is energy that is you as well then you understand that you're part of all of creation so these can be kind of, you know, tricky concepts to understand, but this is what they're teaching us today that, you know, you are the vessel, but you are also the light within the vessel and the light that exists beyond that container. So um, as I was tuning in today, I felt the energies of Ganesha and, um, you know, this energy, this Hindu God reminds us that, you know, we are you know, more than our obstacles, that we have the ability to, um, you know, go forward and, and kind of, you know, stomp through our obstacles like the elephant, right? But such a divine, gracious being. So I'm going to bring in the energy of Ganesha. Um, I'm going to ask for his presence as I bring in and channel a light language message for you. But as always, if English comes in, I will bring that through as well. And so let's open up our hearts to receive, remembering that we are, yes, the container, but we are beyond container. So let's bring in Ganesha and some light language to break through our barriers, right? Today is the day to break through barriers. Pukusuaha, taking a nice deep breath and let's connect. I 
So you choose shukaha, bring in the energy. Tasa aha, iki happy and combustible shukusu aha. Wield power, choose to wield power graciously and gratefully. Sukrutsu shukuaha. You are an electric being. Sukrukunsa tse. Su. 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 So, uh, you have the power to create and negate. And what that means is you have the power to choose what you create and where you choose to bring back your energy. Be conscious of your contraction and your expansion. You are all the moving parts of the pieces that make up life. Yes. Yes. The outside, the inside. It's the external and the within. Let your breath teach you. Take a nice deep breath in. So, Mother Creator, Amana is there with me. She is the creator of the breath of life. And the message is also be conscious of what you breathe in, what you breathe out. Again, yesterday I was talking about what you hear and what you say. Breathing in, taking in energy, breathing out, contraction and expansion. We get to decide when we want to pull back our energy and when we want to go forward. Trust in your intuition when you're feeling that. And so a nice clearing was done too. And remember, you are everything. You are the all, right? You are the the vessel, but you are the light that 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 takes in, that chooses to be in form, in physical form, right? So you are matter, right? You are mana, you are life force, but you are also life force that has chosen physical form. So use your container in a healthy, positive way to create, right? So we use limitation in a healthy way not in a confined way so look at your life how are you holding too much onto attachment and limitation how can you balance that energy thank you for watching as promised i'm delivering daily messages i have a beautiful event coming up the 27th i will be doing a live channeling on zoom and i'll be channeling a collective of light it's a collective of ascended masters and light beings the topic is your inner voice and questions, uh, questions and answers. It's a great opportunity to ask the masters questions. We will also be evoking goddess Athena to help us with our inner truth and wisdom. And she brings in that warrior energy of truth as well. We are, there will be a link for that in the description if you would like to buy tickets. There are some, still some tickets available. 
um, and you can find that in the description. I also have a course. Um, if you are interested in remembering your light language, I offer uh, private mentoring and group courses and how to channel, how to remember your light language and uh, light codes activations that you will receive, light code activations that you will receive to help you remember your light channel by me in a group. I just finished my first group. I'll be starting my next group soon. If you are interested in that, you can find my email in the description as well. Please email, message me. I will put you on my email list. So many exciting things are coming up and I can't wait to share them with you. I'll have a Patreon coming up where you could subscribe to that. There will be um, monthly perks for those who join. So again, remember today that you are the vessel. You are the light within the vessel. You are both. You are all. You are everything. You are more than limitation. And let's use limitation in a healthy way. This is your message for today, brought to you by me. Sending you love and light. Don't forget to like this video, to share it, to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified when I make a new video, click that little ding, 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 bell and you'll get notified. Thank you so much for watching and helping me raise the vibration of the planet. Together we are one. Sending you much love. Bye everyone. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye.